Hello and welcome to this Maya video tutorial in which I want to explain Maya's Create Editable Motion Trail button. So basically what this feature allows you to do is better visualize in 3D space what a certain object is doing. E.g. click on this and I'll get to see the motion trail. So this helps me better understand its arcs, its timing, its spacing and so forth. So very helpful. So how do you create it? So what I'll do, I'll select it and go delete click on this, so this is just a basic rock animation I've got here you go animate, create editable motion trail or you click this box to get the, op the options open so time range, start and end, time slider, so start and end you basically get to specify what frame to start on, what frame to end on, so if this was the case we'd start at 1 and go up until 10 or time slider, that just basically means the whole time slider that you got here will be uh, created, so you can of course change this, bump it up etc um, depends really what you want. So I'll go back to yeah, keep it on time slider increments. So basically, this will uh, visualize every single frame. If it's on one, you can change it to five, so it would only show every five frames. Depends how specific you want it to get. Pre-frame and post-frame shows. So basically, if I was on frame 14, if I had this set to one, if I had pre-frames to one and post-frames to one it would show me the frame before and the frame after, so if I was on 14 it would show me frame 13 and frame 15 pinning always draw, draw when selected this will en enable you to if always draw no matter what object is selected you'll always be able to see the motion trail you created if you select draw when selected you'll only be able to see it when the object is selected uh, these are trail thickness, key size not that important show frame numbers is nice as well, we'll go select that and create motion trail so the show frame basically shows you what frame these keyframes are on and as you can see it helps us better visualize what's going on another thing you can do is select the individual keys and move them about which will then in real time update and change our animation one last thing you can select the motion trail here and change the options here as well if you want to change something once you've already created it and to delete it you simply select it or go and press delete or you can open up your outliner and it's in here as well so I hope you got something out of that tutorial and go on and make some motion trails thank you